Good morning. <laughs> we just finished up filming that other video that you just saw. Well, you saw it yesterday. Um, what are we up to now? We're gonna get diner food. <laughs> now we're getting diner food. Are we walking or can we take the train? Um, let's walk. <laughs> okay, we're walking then. <laughs> Too. Oh no, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is looking crazy. What was the name of that place we were just at? The diner? Soup and burger. Soup and burger. How did you like your soup and burger? I had a Belgian waffle with chocolate and strawberries. <laughs> 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 oh, and then he made me a soy cappuccino thing. Well, oh yeah, it was a cappuccino. I don't know. He it marketed was... it as not a cappuccino. <laughs> it's all. Yeah. Um, if you can't tell, we're both super tired. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> we were up at Times Square at 5.30, 6 o'clock this morning. And I haven't slept at all. I'm still up from yesterday, so... <laughs> In our tiredness, though, we learned about a new instrument. <laughs> <laughs> to the real point here. The instrument is called the harpsichord. Can I play? Oh yeah, play some harpsichord music. Are you the A? One day, Alex and I are gonna skate down Broadway, the street, in Victorian era outfits. In skates. Yes. To this music on a speaker blasting. Ever since being at the Medieval Festival, we've been obsessed with, well, mainly I've been obsessed with, <laughs> way too obsessed with Medieval era, like, clothing. And within that, I got way too obsessed with Victorian era clothing. And to go with that, why not listen to some Victorian music? So this is what we found, and it's incredible. This shit slaps! It's so good! Ready and kick, step, touch! <laughs> We're so hilarious right now! <laughs> I hate this shit. Do you know what a great thing to do is when you're severely overtired? Give a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gabby McCarran. <laughs> Lay haircut is all finished and I think the friends are about to take off to do some activities and that means I'm about to take a little nap. Hey, <laughs> good morning again. Normally, I absolutely despise napping. Like, I know I like a nice nap, but at the same time, it's so just unproductive where I avoid doing it at all costs. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you nap, and then you can be more productive or you don't nap and then you're super unproductive. Now that it is officially nighttime, here, I'll show you. Nighttime, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm in the mood where I really want to stay home, but I also really want to go outside. So it's a big dilemma. 
I don't know, it's cozy in here, it's warm in here. I don't have food in here though. Let's at least go get some food and then we can decide from there. While on the way to food, I would like to tell you some fun facts about the new instrument that I am a big fan of called the, wait, what is it? The Harpen, Harp, oh no. Harpen Scotch, Harp, Hops, no, not Hopscotch. Harpen, Harpen, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> After a few minutes of quick research again, it is called the Harpen, oh no. The Harpsichord, that's what it's called. My memories. It's going, oh. What even is a harpsichord in the first place? A harpsichord is kind of like a piano and it predated the piano, but it's a lot different. A piano obviously has strings and in a piano, hammers are used to hit those strings. In a harpsichord, it also has strings, but those strings are plucked instead of hit with hammers. For this reason, the piano falls under a percussion instrument while the harpsichord is actually a string instrument. Here's what a harpsichord looks like though. As you can see, it kind of just looks like a piano, but it's also kind of like an organ where it has multi-levels of keys and it uses stops. It also differs from a piano in the fact that a harpsichord has no foot pedals on it. It's a very distinct instrument, but that gives it a very distinct sound and one that really puts it right in the Baroque period, which I think is so cool. Today is one of those days where I just feel like I got a whole lot of absolutely nothing done. I know that I did get things done, but it's just, I don't know how to word it. I feel very unproductive, even though I was productive. And maybe because, maybe it's because I couldn't really film a lot of it because it was just like, you know, computer stuff, things like that. But it's sort of like days like today is when I question like, do I even make a video out of this? Because you know, the video was all over the place. It wasn't like a consistent story from start to end. So I'm still going to do it. <laughs> I'm still going to make a video out of this because that's part of making videos about daily life. Is some days you just do nothing and other days I can go on this great adventure. It's just maybe it's me trying to be a perfectionist or whatever, but I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's just something I've struggled with a little bit and why sometimes I will miss days and uploads because I want to do it daily but I'm like you know sometimes I'll film a whole video the whole day and then I'm editing it and I'm like well this makes no sense it's just hey I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this it's not not exactly what not perfect I don't I don't know everybody has those days when you just do nothing it's just weird seeing a day of doing nothing filmed and then put online for everybody to see. We'll see though because every day the audience gets a little bit larger and it gets me just that little bit closer of being able to just do this and this only. Make videos. So words of advice for today. Don't give up. I guess that's a very basic, you know. If you can't guess it, I didn't come up with that phrase but that's sort of how I'm feeling right now and yeah, everyone needs to be reminded of that, I feel like. So don't give up. 